Good morning. Uh, this is what we go through every morning. Welcome back to week number five. We did a lot of work. We did a ton of work. I feel like my glasses are giving you some major glare. Do I look like Harry Potter? Yay. I've been watching a ton of Harry Potter. We <laughs> uh, this week, you will see us continue working on the ceiling. We even work on the roof and some of the over cab area. So that's really exciting. We're going to be done pretty soon. Soon meaning like a month Another to month. a month and a half. Yeah. And there's a lot of need to downsize our belongings. We already live really minimally like i don't mm -hmm. know anyone else who lives as mm -hmm. we don't own a lot we need to look for the perfect rv park for us here in sacramento but all we've been sharing with you guys so far is the rv process but i cannot wait till that part is done to be sharing the other side of this channel which is kind of like the sustainability side and really getting into how we live with less and how that will look like in an rv like really stoked for that mm -hmm. to continue watching our journey and to follow along with all our updates make sure you subscribe subscribe fool do it please do it fool welcome back it is officially day 16 week five jazz hands we are attempting to put <laughs> insulation in the paneling the same paneling up We've officially got a staple gun. A nail gun. Yeah, a nail gun. Yes, that is a finished ceiling panel. The good news is it's up there. Oh my God, this is kind of, look it. This is what it would look like. Yeah. It's staying up there, which is good news for now, but I would like to go back with the bigger, bigger nail width wise, like the gauge. We don't want to have this all done and be chilling and then have the ceiling collapse on us. Yeah. More insulation time. Just put up a couple, a couple more to go. putting up all this insulation, making good progress. And once that's done, we're gonna head home and reevaluate what we need to do tomorrow, come back out here and get it done. Hey y'all. Hi. Will we finished the insulation. Yeah, we didn't film much yesterday because we were- Getting after it. We had our eyes on the prize. Looks like a whole bunch of cotton candy pillows. It was Not taste candy. like it. <laughs> coffee time now we're gonna measure and cut the panels for the rest of the, the rest of the rv yep. and that's our goal for today yesterday was the longest day we ever worked we had to pick up the air compressor for the nail gun but then we got coffee and stuff i want to say maybe we started around nine between nine and nine thirty and we finished at like five yeah it's like five including our trip to home depot to get some more supplies so how many hours of work is that Nine to five, six, eight. <laughs> Sorry. eight no, hours. that's what we're trying Plus, to escape. Yeah, we're trying to escape the nine to five, but this we, is actually going to something. We create our own nine to five. Yeah, not somebody else's nine to five. We're just gonna measure and cut. Measure and cut. things are looking better <laughs> i'm glad we got it up it doesn't look perfect but there are some tweaks we've got to do there are some gaps of course along the seams what i do is either go look for some trim or possibly make some trim 
I'm not sure if we want to do like a white trim going across. It might be even cool if we had some wood trim, some natural wood, dark wood. I'm gonna keep going. Keep going, Larry. Here you go. We got a lot up. We're almost halfway done. You get over there. That's for you, Alyssa. I'm really, really proud of the work we've done today. Yeah, I think we did good. Yeah. Now let's show you what we got done. Here is what it looks like. And I know <laughs> you're probably thinking, what the hell? That does not look like a finished ceiling. Well, it's not finished, guys. Yep. We are going to secure them with some screws. We need to kind of plan out where exactly the screws are going to go because those are pretty obvious when you screw them in there they're ugly so you've got to be intentional with them it'll just look crazy if we have them going everywhere in that every day we do something again we get better at it framing was super hard for us and then the second day it was a piece of cake there's um room to grow i think that tomorrow will be easier now that we understand how the process goes mm -hmm. and so we're gonna finish it tomorrow we're gonna go back out to stockton so this is gonna make me dinner i'm gonna make sushi and lumpia Ooh. Vegan! Vegan. In case you didn't know. <laughs> Another day. Uh, We're going to Stockton. To finish the ceiling. We'll be in Stockton for two days. So we should be able to get a lot done. We should be able to get a lot done. I'll tell you that someone is looking out for us. We felt a couple knocks underneath us and our tire our front tire by the driver's side basically is given out. If we're lucky, literally roll to Paul's house and we're safe. Nothing drastic happened and we are gonna replace it. Took off the damn thing. This is the damage. In about three hours, we are gonna take this guy to our, basically our tire guy through my stepdad Paul for a really good deal. So we're gonna do this later. We have three hours to work on the ceiling. Get her done. Yeah. Just got back from getting their used tires, but they're way newer than what we had, so yeah, I swear, 18 years old. They're on there and they look good and we're happy with them. And we're thankful for Paul for having his connections with every automotive person in Stockton. Hey guys, so kind of like a switch of plans. So Jasmine's gonna work on the roof and sealing that up because we are expecting rain this weekend. And her stepdad and I, Paul, are gonna work on this overhead and putting a new piece of board in it so it's more stable and not rotted like this we have two holes up here seth hit i think a street sign or something and so what happened is it yanked the ladder off of off of the roof we got to find some way to straighten this out but in the meantime i'm going to patch this up i got some of this uh i forgot exactly what this is called but it's water resistant it's roofing paper from my stepdad cover that hole pretty generously it means i'm going to lay some of this stuff down I'm gonna go over it with this a waterproof patch and seal tape. Works underwater, use outdoors, permanent bonding. Then this sealant, I was describing my situation to one of the workers who seemed pretty knowledgeable and he recommended this. I guess they use this in big batches on top of commercial buildings to keep water out on top of the roof. So I thought, hey, uh, it probably will work the same here. Take all the preventative me measures to make sure that we don't have any more future water damage. I'm using a product called Mineral Spirits here to clean the surface of any dirt so that way our tape can adhere nice and smoothly. This stuff is really sticky. It's all over the scissors when I cut through it. So I've got to try and work fast. Very cheap cotton. 
I'm just about to go through and seal, seal, seal as much as I can. You can see all these cracks along the seams, so I'm gonna go in and fill these in. I just went around the perimeter and cleaned it off with the minimal mineral spirits, and now it's time to caulk. Caulk. I'm also using this as an opportunity to get a tan. Taking engagement photos next month, and your girl needs to look nice and golden brown. All right, guys. So I've been working on my task. Boom. We're gonna look all rotted, all that. We're gonna make it like a little loft area, a little nap area for the cats. Have a bunch of, bunch of plants. Man, I'm so happy. Feels really good. See you guys later. So I just removed that air conditioner cover. And there's all this dirt, residue, debris trapped in where air con filters air. I also got out like three old dried out wasp nets. So Seth's gonna blow it all out, I guess. Okay, hey, let's show you my pajama ugly patching work. The rear corner. So we had just a little bit of cracking along there, um, all along this perimeter seam here as well. I sealed that. That was a hole for an, for this antenna to go through for a satellite. I'm not going to mess with it for now because I'm just doing what we need to do. I also sealed around some exposed screws. So there, along this seam here, you can see the discoloration from Looks like this ceiling was tan. The biggest part was uh, the holes. It's got a layer of that roofing paper, layer of the Gorilla Tape, and then two layers of the ceiling. So I'm hoping that will work. One, two holes, and this was an existing patch. You could tell it was patched up with tape, so I just sealed around it for extra measure. We are done for the day. We put up these because we needed support sagging. And so we put one on each side here. So now it's, it's straight. What left we have to do is put in the actual screws instead of finished nails. Like obviously we're not gonna use finished nails for the complete product. This is basically gonna conclude our week of, our Four? week's work of worth. What? Week. Week's worth. Worth the week. Weeks work worth of work. Remember that speech dyslexia she was talking I'm, about? <laughs> yeah. I'm, my mom is visiting tomorrow, so we're gonna take the whole weekend off. Next week, you will see a finished ceiling, like 1,000%, because we are even moving on to the walls. I think the ceiling was um. It's the hardest part. The ceiling was the hardest part. Uh, time to go home. Time to go home. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We really need some time for ourselves. For our mental health. <laughs> for our mental health. <laughs> Taking two extra days two off. Two days of no RV work is like, what are we gonna do? And get in a hike. It's some outdoors time. Thank you for all of you who do watch and who keep sending such sweet messages yeah. to me and Seth. Being excited with us for this journey, it really is nice to have support. It really is. Yeah. And we'll see you next week for six.